one principle of the brain is that it's quite distributed. You can destroy any one synapse, it doesn't affect anything. Now, what does a synapse actually look like? Um, they're very, very complicated, all right? They're very small. Uh, your brain is about a liter of material, and a synapse is about a femtoliter of volume. So uh, think about a trillionth of a liter, and then divide that by a thousand, and that's a femtoliter, okay? Um, and so you have a quadrillion synapses in your brain. And so they provide the scratch space that you need by changing their size to store all of your memories. And even within that femtoliter volume, you have about 40,000 proteins. And those proteins do various jobs, like moving vesicles around to release neurotransmitter, um, being the ion channels that control the strength of the synapse, um, and doing all of the housekeeping and maintenance to keep that synapse alive. Um, and then also to be able to change the size. So very complicated constructs. But the main takeaway is that if you're going to create a long-term memory, you undergo the process of memory consolidation, and memory consolidation changes the size of synapses. And changing the size of synapses requires protein synthesis. We know this because if you inhibit protein synthesis, you can't consolidate memories anymore. It's actually kind of a weird effect. You can be under the effect of a protein synthesis inhibitor, and your short-term memory will work fine. That's electrical. Your medium-term memory will work fine. That's still doable because it doesn't require protein synthesis. But your ability to encode long-term memories is compromised. Uh, people have a very high alcohol tolerance can get into this mode. They call it blackout drunk. And uh, a person can be functional. They're blacked out not because they're unconscious, but because they're not encoding memories properly. And so you can actually have crazy situations where you could write yourself a letter or you could hide something somewhere while you're under the influence of this. You wake up the next day, you can actually genuinely surprise yourself and communicate with yourself this way.